Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And today we're going to show you how to clean this Ruger LCP Max pistol chambered in 380. It's not a very difficult process, and for some of you, this might be your first firearm. So we're going to go over some of the basics with you, talk about some of the cleaning supplies that we're going to use, and we'll go ahead and get started. Now, a question I get quite often on the channel is, you know, what kind of a solvent do you use or cleaner do you use with your firearms? Now, for the longest time, I used to use Safari Land uh, Break Free CLP. This stuff works great. Um, I've since moved over to Cleanse Oil. I really like their products. They actually sent me a care package when they saw me using their products in the video. So I'm not actually endorsed by them. I get no money from them, but I highly recommend their products. They work really well. Uh, this is Cleanse Oil Field and Range Cleaner. Otherwise, if all you can get is maybe Safari Land Break Free CLP or Rem Oil, go ahead and do so. The key here is that you actually use something. Now, I tend to use a two-step process when I'm cleaning my firearms. I tend to apply the product, wipe it off, and then just put on one more coat. And that's it. And that allows the product to kind of work in, do its job, wipe it off, and then just leave it with a lubricated coat. And that's typically all you have to do. Also recommend some sort of Q-tips or cotton swabs. I like tipped and power swabs because they allow you to kind of get in there a little bit. And uh, these don't flex or break, which is kind of handy. Uh, some cotton patches. You can also use an old cut up cotton t-shirt if you want to. Cleaning brush or an old toothbrush will do the job. Just make sure that it has plastic bristles just in case you need to do any scrubbing, uh, depending on how dirty your firearm might be. Uh, also, a one-piece cleaning rod is kind of nice. If you get yourself a 9mm cleaning kit, you're going to get that. It's probably going to be metal with a handle on the end of it. This is just one of the cleaning rods that came with one of my Glocks, and I just like to kind of repurpose them and use them uh, for other cleanings. And so any kind of a single-piece cleaning rod is a good idea. Also handy, not necessary, but handy, is a 9mm slash 380 bore snake. And what it is is some brass or copper bristles right here in the front. You put a couple drops of oil in front and back, pull it through the barrel a couple times, and it's gonna give you a basic cleaning of the barrel. Maybe not as thorough as say like a traditional bristle brush on a single piece cleaning rod, but it's gonna get the job done and these cost about $10. The other thing that I have that's really handy, and it doesn't have to be cleanse oil, but mine is, a needle oiler. This gives you a real fine little dot of oil that you can apply to your firearm in certain small places without using too much or putting a whole drop on it. And uh, these are kind of nice too, especially with a smaller pistol like this. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your area is clear. Oh, and last thing, also from Cleanse Oil, these are nice to have. These are pre-saturated uh, bore sticks. And what it is is basically a giant cotton swab that's pre-saturated with field and range cleaner. Uh, this is chambered for 9mm. You can also use it with 38 caliber or 380 pistols. And we just push this through, through the barrel a couple times, pull the bore snake through, pull one more of these through, and that's basically it. So how I clean my pistol might be a little bit different from you, but it's totally up to you with whatever you want to do. All right, so first things first, let's make sure that the, uh, the pistol is in fact unloaded. So we'll go ahead and press the button to detach the magazine. As you can see, the magazine's empty. Okay, in a safe direction, pull back, check the chamber. Okay, pull back a couple times, the chamber's in fact empty, and we'll set the firearm off to the side. Uh, if you have a loaded magazine, just put that off to the side, and we'll talk about cleaning that here in just a little bit. The last thing you're gonna need, and, and I don't believe that Ruger gives you any kind of special tool for it, you have a takedown pin right here. And in order to pop that takedown pin out, you're gonna need a small flat tool. I just have a tiny screwdriver, like the kind that you use with small screws from like say an iPhone or watches, and uh, that will definitely help you out. Any kind of a small flat surface will get in there and pop that pin out. So. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. First things first, uh, let's go ahead and clean up the magazine. Now, if your magazine has ammunition in it, go ahead and take the ammo out of it, put a single drop of oil on a patch, and just go ahead and wipe off the magazine. This will get any kind of tarnishing off of it. Now, I did notice that the Ruger did have some like finishing oil or building oil inside the firearm when I first got it out of the box. It was kind of a heavy oil. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that just take their guns to the range and shoot them, and you can certainly do that if you want to. I like to clean mine off because that'll ensure that there's no metal filings or polymer bits or finish that kind of works itself into the gun. So I like to clean the guns first before I go to the range. All right, set your patch off to the side, take a clean patch, and just go ahead and wipe off your magazine. You wanna keep your magazines oil free. You also wanna keep gun cleaner and solvent around away from the rear of your ammo where your uh, primer is. You definitely wanna keep that dry. And this has its own little protective coating on it. It's gonna be all good to go. All right, now, the next thing that we wanna do is go ahead and pop out this little takedown pin. Let's zoom in just a little bit here for you. And all you have to do is just take whatever little flat tool that you're gonna use and just push it in behind and just go ahead and pop it out. It's gonna come out about a quarter inch, pull out the pin and just set it off to the side. Now at this point, you can simply slide the slide, it's gonna come right off. 
and you're all set to go. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I've already cleaned this pistol once, so there's not gonna be a lot of residue on here. Like I said, I like to clean them before I take them to the range, so you're not gonna see a lot of crud and crap coming off this pistol today, but maybe just a little bit of finish is gonna come off. So, take your pin, go ahead and wipe it off. Okay, set that off to the side. Go ahead and take your frame. If there's a lot of dirt and dust and grime in here, feel free to hit that with a brush if you want to. Uh, otherwise, you can simply take a patch with a drop of oil on it and just go ahead and wipe everything off. There's not a lot of surface area here. There's really not a lot that you have to worry about. You do have a little extractor pin back here, so just make sure that you kind of wipe that off a little bit and get that taken care of and uh, you'll be in really good shape. Uh, go ahead and grab a cotton swab or a Q-tip. Okay, and put one single drop of oil on it. We'll use this on both sides, kind of flatten it down a little bit and just run it through these little tracks, these rails that you have on the sides one time. Just scrape it through there. Okay, the other side too. This will get any uh, dirt or crud that might've built up in these tracks, especially if you pocket carry this or you, you daily carry it, you can start to get a buildup of, of dust and dirt and lint that gets in there. And then go ahead and wipe off the top. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just set that off to the side. So this is that initial penetrating coat that we're gonna do. I recommend you do this with REM oil or CLP or cleanse oil or whatever kind of cleaner that you wanna use. I, I recommend doing this two, a two-step process instead of just a one-step wipe it on and you're done. You know, you just wanna make sure you get everything off the firearm before you finally reassemble it. Now, this is not a captive guide rod spring, which means that if you pull up on this, the spring could shoot off the guide rod. So just go ahead and push in a little bit and pull out on the guide rod in the spring. You're all set to go. You can pull the guide rod out if you want to. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it. We'll just do a single drop of oil on a patch again. Go ahead and wipe it off. And then just set it off to the side. It's really easy to get this complete thing cleaned up. There's actually two springs in here. So instead of messing with having them come undone or causing the issues, just go ahead and leave the guide rod in there. And the inside spring is smaller than the outside spring. So if you're not careful, I can't even get it to do it right now, but that inside spring can start to come out, as you can see right here. So you wanna make sure that stays pushed in there and stays on that guide rod. Okay, we'll go and set that off to the side. Okay, up next we have the barrel and the slide. Okay, go and pull that out. Just go ahead and wipe off the barrel. Again, single patch of oil on a patch, or single drop of oil on a patch. Let's go ahead and wipe it off. Like I said, we'll give everything one more coating before we put it back together, and that's gonna be it. Okay, you're especially pay attention to up here on these top notches. You might get some uh, crud that's gonna build up on there, so you wanna make sure that those stay nice and clean. There we go. Never, never tell if this is in focus when I'm filming these things. Now to, uh, to clean out the barrel, we're gonna go ahead and just take that patch with some oil on it, and uh, just go ahead and just push that through the barrel. And again, you can use a fresh patch if you want to. Okay, this is 380, it's gonna be a little bit tight, just push it through one time. There you go. Now at this point, you can either run another patch of oil through it if you want to, or if you've got your brush, you can push your copper brush through it if you want to. Uh, me, I've got my boar snake. I'm gonna take a boar stick, which has a little bit of oil on it right now, and we're gonna push this through one time. Okay, so just go and push from the back to the front. And depending on how dirty this is when it comes out, you may wanna do this a couple times. It's not too bad. We're just going to push it through one more time. Okay, there we go. Just go ahead and get that out of the way. And to finish it, I'm going to do one drop of cleaner on the front, one drop of oil on the back, just a single drop. Again, you don't have to have it soaked. Pull it through one time and you're basically going to be all set to go. So if you don't have this, again, you can simply run a copper brush through it a couple times and uh, follow up with just a patch with some oil on it and you're basically going to be done. Now at this point if we look down the barrel it is nice and shiny. Not sure if you guys can tell but it's good to go and we will set that off to the side. Now to clean out the inside of the slide again same procedure single drop of oil on a patch. There we go. This might be kind of hard especially if you have big fingers but just go ahead and put your finger and just start to wipe out the inside of the slide. Any surfaces that you can possibly touch you definitely want to wipe off this little front face right here where your firing pin is, okay? So just go ahead and push on that. You're all set to go. There you go. Let's get those patches out of the way. Wipe off the top of the slide, the sides. Now this is pretty much just going to be a one-step procedure. This is, this is basically good to go. If you need to, you can hit it with one more patch. Now you do have some real tiny little tracks in here that we're going to clean out. And there's some channels right here also where you have your firing pin mechanism and so on. And you want to make sure that that's going to uh, get cleaned out also. 
So we'll take a power swab. Again, single drop of oil. Okay, flatten out just a little bit. And go ahead and just wipe out the inside of the tracks. There we go. Won't have to do much more than that. And then these little channels in here, just go ahead and wipe it out one time. There you go. And you're going to be all set to go. All right, simple enough. We can see that there's a little bit of lubrication in there and so on. Okay, well at this point, it is time for reassembly. It really is that simple. So we're going to put our preservative coat on everything as we reassemble the firearm. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with the slide mechanism, the barrel and the guide rod. Again, single drop of oil, okay? Wipe out the inside. Now this is also gonna preserve your gun, especially if you live in a high humidity environment or if you're gonna put this someplace where it's gonna be stored for a long time, this will help preserve it too. Okay, go ahead and wipe off the barrel. Get a little bit of lubricant right down there in that little lug. Again, you could just put your patch down in there with some oil on it, you're gonna be fine. Okay, go ahead and push the barrel back in. Now this might be kind of tricky, it's really small area, but this is how it should look when it's all done. It should be nice and flat across the bottom, you can see it. It's exactly how it's gonna look. And then you're gonna take your guide rod with the open-ended spring side and you're going to push that in this lower portion right here of the slide. Okay, just go ahead and push. And then it's going to just lock back into this little tiny cut right here on the back of the barrel. And from the side, this is how it should look. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. There we go. It's gonna be flat all the way across and locks into place. There's not a lot of surface area there, but it will lock into place when it's all done, okay? All right, go ahead and wipe off that pin one more time. Go ahead and wipe out the frame one more time, wipe off the tracks. There we go. Always check the uh, inside of the grip, and if you want to, you can run your patch down there also just to get any crud or lint that might build up in there. Now, the only actual lubricant that we're going to put on the rails themselves is with the needle oiler. If you don't have one, single drop of oil down this side, single drop of oil down here. Wipe off the excess and you are golden. Okay, one drop, one drop. It really does not take a lot. And as the gun gets shot, you're gonna start to notice some of the high wear areas and where you wanna make sure you have lubrication. Um, again, you're gonna start to see some bare metal exposed as the finish starts to wear off and that's just normal. These are tools, they get used and they just wear out over time. All right, so we'll go ahead and take our patch. Just wipe off those tracks, any excess lubrication. Now I do go over the gun one more time and, and just make sure if there's anything dripping out of it or coming out of it, I do just wipe off the, uh, the excess lubrication. Okay, that's all set to go. All right, go ahead and take your slide and put it back on. Now this part can be a little bit tricky because you've got to get the pin to go back in. So you've got to pull back on the uh, slide just a little bit here. There we go. And actually, if I look through it, I basically have a hole that goes all the way through. I can see light on the other side. We should be all set. Maybe push back just a little tiny bit. Just take your pin, you're just gonna push it back in. Now there's a bit of a spring wire that's underneath them. You might have to push down as you push in to get that to go. And it's just gonna click right back into place, okay? Go ahead and charge it a couple times. Make sure nothing's getting caught. You don't have any kind of a, a mechanical safety on it that you can actuate, so we don't have to worry about testing that. Make sure it's gonna lock open, okay? And uh, you can check the chamber, make sure it's empty, and just dry fire at one time. There you go. And uh, reload your magazines, put your mag back in, and you are all set to go. All right, and those are the basics of how to clean the Ruger LCP Max Pistol. It's very simple. Um, other LCPs in the lineup may have a similar format. Hey, guys, if you like what you see, please uh, like and subscribe. Make sure you check out my channel. I've also got a podcast called Caliber Corner, and uh, we do that podcast on Thursday nights at 6 p.m. Central Time. We also do it at 8 a.m. Central Time on Saturday mornings. We have two shows that we do. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and check them out. Uh, if you're ever looking for a certain topic on firearms, just go into YouTube and type in Travis P11 and then a space and then whatever topic it is you're looking for. There's a pretty good chance that I did a video on it or there's a Caliber Corner episode based off of it too. So uh, again, guys, I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. Please smash that bell, like, and subscribe. If you have any further questions, feel free to chime in down below. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.